Hello. The video you are about to see contains images of dolls only. Hello, Hello everybody. everybody! Oh, it's Saturday, so it must be time for Lacey again. Yeah, it's time for Lacey and you to come back again. Now, last week on the videos, People were talking about ice cream, and we're going to be talking more about that in a moment. But uh, they were saying, when you came back from Ever Roses a couple of weeks ago, did you have ice cream all over your face? I didn't have ice cream all over my face then, Daddy. But I did when I came back yesterday from the barbecue paddle pool and ice cream party. <gasps> it was so good. It that sounds like a real treat. I remember when I was a little boy, I used to go in a paddling pool and uh, we had uh, it on the lawn, we had um, grass underneath. And the problem was that uh, grass kept getting into the pool as well. Did that happen with you? No, it didn't, Daddy, because they had a special place, a concrete place, where they put the paddle pool and it was plumbed in so you just had to turn the taps on and the water would come and there was no grass there. Oh, that sounds so much better than what I had. <laughs> we had to manually uh, fill it up, we did. So it was an ice cream barbecue and paddle pool party. So you went yesterday, is that right? Yeah, I went yesterday. I did my lessons and I watched my cartoons in the morning. And my bird said I was like a bottle of pop. I couldn't suck to anything, could I, Mummy? No, you couldn't. Thank you so much for letting me get a word in edgeways. <laughs> you couldn't settle to anything at all. It was an absolute nightmare. But you're always like that, aren't you? When there's something really exciting happening, um, you're always like a bottle of pop, fizzing, running around, doing all kinds of things. Uh, I don't do the running round. If he runs round, I always tell him to stop because I know what he can be like. But Runs round, not me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Icky. He I never know. gets a minute's peace, does he, Big? He doesn't, he doesn't. But he does get himself into some scrapes, doesn't he? I know, I know. But anyway, I, I was saying, I did all my lessons. And then, uh, once it got to be three o'clock, I got myself changed. And I, I put all my things on. And then I went in a taxi round to Ever Roses. It was so cool. And what were you wearing? What you've got on now? No, no, not this one. No, it dresses no to go to, to um, parties like that. I was wearing um, white shorts and a red and white top. And my flip-flops with the pretty flowers on them. Oh, lovely it looked, didn't it? Yeah. And it was very tall because we were running round and it was hot. That was one of the reasons why you had the paddling pool, because it was so hot. So let's talk about that. Uh, did you like going in the water? Yeah, I love going in the water. I can't swim very well, but I learn it. I learn it. I go swimming um, once a week or once a fortnight, whenever we can go. And I learn to swim a little bit, a little bit. But I love splashing in the paddle pool. It's brilliant. So when you go to the ordinary swimming pool, you have armbands, I take it. I don't have armbands, no. I have a rubber ring. And my rubber ring is the best in the whole wild world because it has a mermaid's tail on it. Oh, that's cool, isn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry, I was trying to get my hair out of Mummy's face. Yeah, it is cool. It's the best in the whole wild world and it's all pink and purple and turquoise. And you had ice cream. That was part of the party. Did you help to make any of the ice cream or, or did you just eat it? No, no. We had to help to make ice cream and make food for the barbecue before we could go and play. Because Auntie Sarah Beth, she always says, good playing comes after good working and you can't have one without the other. So she said, you come and help me a little bit first and then you can play. So before we went out running round and splashing in the water, we helped mix up all the things for the ice cream 
and then we pulled it in the machine and watched it going round and round and round. And Auntie Sarah Beth has got three ice cream machines. Three. Three? Three. And they all were going at the same time. It didn't make a noise. It really, really did. And she made fresh Georgia peach and mocha jamocha and chocolate crunchy vanilla. It had bits of crunchy in it. Oh, it was so good! Mmm, sounds wonderful. And I think uh, Auntie Sarah Breath is quite right. If you do a little bit of work, then you can enjoy it much more. It was good. It was good. And, and we helped chop up all the things for the potato salad. Auntie Sarah Beth makes potato salad with mashed potatoes. I never seen that before, Daddy. But it was very, very good. It was really, really nice. I think Mummy should make it the same. Well, I'll ask. I'll ask her Auntie Sarah Beth for the recipe because I've never. I've actually eaten it like that when Mummy used to live in America a long time ago. But I don't know a recipe, so I'll ask Auntie Sarah Beth how she does it, and we'll have some because it is good. You're right. Well, if I have mashed potato, I have to have tomato ketchup on it. Oh, Daddy, that's wrong. That's this one. That's Augustine. Augustine isn't the icky. We don't like that, do we, Daddy? We don't like that, do we, icky? <laughs> icky loves it. He tells me he really likes that. Now, let's go back to the ice cream for a minute, okay? Sit up, darling. You're falling down. Oh, that's better. Was it warm ice cream at all? Daddy, that isn't such a thing as warm ice cream. There is, I tell you, there is. I love warm ice cream. No, no, Daddy. Ice cream is cold. It was lovely cold ice cream. But it was tasty, was it? It was tasty. It was delicious. It really was very, very delicious. <laughs> now tell me about the barbecue, because we've talked about the ice cream in the paddling pool. So uh, what kind of things did you have on the barbecue? Um, well, there was lots of dead animal things because Uncle Owen likes to eat dead animals and she said there was steaks and there was burgers and hot dogs and things. But there was big grilled mushrooms and there was um, grilled slices of onion, onion those things. and there was veggie kebabs mm. and there was... Um, veggie hot dogs and Yum. there was veggie burgers, homemade ones. Auntie Beth, Sarah Beth makes them herself. Oh, that and great. there was all kinds of yummers, vegetable things, grilled peppers and all oh, grilled courgettes. And there was some fish too. I like fish and a bit of fish now and again. She did some lovely grilled salmon and it was yummies. It was yummy so and there was all salad and salad and more salad than I could possibly think of and tell you about. Sounds like and a we lot ate of salad. And ate and ate till we were stuffed and then I had three bowls of ice cream because I wanted to try all the flavours it would help make. Well, that's brilliant. I bet you didn't want to uh, come away from the party, did you? No, I didn't, Daddy. I was sad when I had to go, but it was getting to my bedtime and I was getting a bit tired and she was icky. You can tell me that again. You were absolutely worn out when you got back. Do you remember, B? We had to practically carry her into the bath. <laughs> oh, oh, I know. <laughs> and who was absolutely covered in ice cream all over your face and all over your nice red and white t-shirt? Um, yes, I had dotted a bit all over me. <laughs> and I had muddy knees and muddy feet and everything from running around. But it was all right. It was all right. It was a lovely, lovely day. And I awful glad I got a nice friend like Eva Rose to play with. Oh, so are we. Um, it's been brilliant since you met her, hasn't it been? Oh, it has. It's just, we're just so lucky that um, she found us on YouTube, didn't she? And uh, she asked if she could get in touch with you and it's been wonderful. You never have rows with her, do you? No, I never do. She's lovely, she is, and I'm very, very lucky. We, we like Everose, don't we, Inky? Oh, we all like Everose and her family. Right, we better go now, I think. Oh, but I'll be back tomorrow for Magic Memory Sunday. Oh, Bert told me a brilliant story.
story this week. And you wait till you hear it. Are you going to tell us what it's about? Going to give us a little bit of a clue? No. No? <laughs> you have to wait to see. All right, then. Well, I can't wait. It's going to be really, really good. I know it is. We, we all love birth stories. So we'll see you tomorrow for Magic Memory Sundays. But in the meantime, Lacey... Take care of yourself and enjoy your babies. That's right. And... Let's, let's be good to each other. other.